Live from the heart of New York City, it's the morning show with Mike and Juliet, Tuesday. We are excited about our next guest. He keeps us laughing and informed every morning as the co-host of Fox and Friends and the Fox News Channel. But today he is here to share his parenting misadventures from his new book, Tales from the Dad Side. Please welcome my good buddy, Steve Ducey. Thank you, Michael. Now, Steve and I have known each other since we left just out of college, the University of Kansas. Sure. Uh, that a long was time. 20-something years ago. <laughs> but you know what's wonderful? I know you're a great dad, and, and you can tell a great dad by his children. And at the end of your book, you said, I just think I'm thankful that my kids are good, they're funny, they're wise, they're inspiring. Good job, Steve Ducey. And, and you bought that, Mike? <laughs> Actually, you just saw a picture uh, of my kids. And Mike has known my family for a long time. Mike has come over uh, to our house for some Thanksgiving. Sure. Like Look at but that. But ladies man. and gentlemen, may I introduce you to my wife is the blonde lady right there. And then I've got Peter Mary Sally, PMS, <laughs> which I have abbreviated for, for necklace engraving purposes. Kids can cause PMS and other <laughs> problems like that. But what is the key, do you think, to being a good dad? The key is do whatever the mom tells you to do. <laughs> because in the beginning, in the beginning, yes. right? We don't know what we're doing. There are, you know, let's face it, women are better at being a parent. And it's because yeah. in our society, you know, ever since you were a little, and there's a picture oh. of my dad and me, ever since you were little girls, you know, uh, they give you a doll and they say, okay, this is how you play with a doll. And really, having a doll is yeah. practice mommy. I mean, what do guys have? I'm, <laughs> it's not as if uh, Maxim Magazine comes out with nine <laughs> easy cures for diaper rash. <laughs> this is not going to happen. I'll tell you, Steve. Are they pro diaper rash? <laughs> They're very pro diaper and rashes in general. Uh, we have gotten to know um, I have your son Peter, who's yes. at Villanova now. But the whole country ha knows Peter now because of a question he asked Senator John McCain when John McCain visited Villanova. My name is Peter Ducey. I'm a junior here, and I'm sure that you saw your one of your uh, Democratic opponents, Hillary Clinton, recently drinking whiskey shots with some potential voters. Now, I was wondering if you think that she's finally resorted to hitting the sauce just because of some unfavorable polling, and I was also wondering if you would care to join me for a shot after this. <laughs> That's my boy. Were you proud of him? It was a good question, yeah. and it flummoxed him. He had no answer. He just he laughed for about a minute. Hey, Peter, come on out here and tell us what that uh, that night was like there at Villanova. Peter! Peter! Uh, my, my little boy. <laughs> now, are you surprised? Oh, look, that's funny. There, my goodness. There I am back in 1985, and that's Peter recently with Chris Wallace. Boy, you two are looking alike. You were born about three blocks from the White House, right? That's right, yeah. And so you have an interest in politics. Mm -hmm. um, what, asking John McCain to do shots. <laughs> well, I, it was uh, after five. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> when he came on Fox and Friends, he says, there's surveillance on you, Peter, now. That's right. He's a good dad, isn't he, Peter? <laughs> yes, the best. You're a good boy. The best in the world. One of the funniest moments, though, in the book and in your life is when Mary, your second child, was about to be born. You videotape everything like I did with my Absolutely. kids. Absolutely. In what fact, happened? I, I learned that from you. <laughs> uh, just before she was born? Yes. Uh, I had a panic attack. <laughs> I couldn't drive, so that's my wife, Kathy, driving herself to the hospital. <laughs> You're supposed to be driving her. Now listen to this. Shut up and get it, sir. Breathe. But this man is sick. <laughs> Can you believe it? You had to have the medical attention. I didn't feel so good. I was having a, another tax deduction board. You know, the, th the thing about this is, it is so, you know, and here's my shameless plug. Ladies out there in the audience, it is so hard to find a good present for a dad. This is perfect because this celebrates fatherhood and it shows that it's okay if you make some mistakes as long as you have fun. You made all the right moves, Steve, as a dad. Thank you very much. Get a copy of Steve's book. Do it today. Tales from the Dad Side at a big store near Steve. Peter, thank you very much. Thank you, Michael. We're coming right back. That was a good surprise.